Okay, so we've got a diagram here. It's got all the information on it. I'll check it by reading through. So we've got three parallel lines, and they're marked with these arrows here. D, A, D, B, and D, C are equal. They're also marked. That's what these lines mean here. Those three lines are equal. And we've got two 38 degree angles here. We've got to work out what X is. So we've got angles in parallel lines. And you should be able to notice we've got this Z shape. So one there. And one there, because we've got a symmetrical pattern here. So if we've got that Z shape, that means they're alternate angles. And alternate angles are equal. So we've got 38 degrees here and 38 degrees here, because alternate angles are equal. It doesn't say we've got to give our reasons. So we don't have to write down um, everything we're doing. But... I'll write that down anyway, so alternate angles are equal. And then we've got two triangles here, so we've got this triangle here, and two lengths are the same, and exactly the same at the top. We've got a triangle here with two lengths the same. If we've got a triangle with two lengths the same, that means it's an isosceles triangle. So the two angles at the base of that must also be the same. So angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. So we've got 38, 38, 38, and 38. So we also know angles in a triangle at up to 180 degrees. So we can work out these two, this one here and this one here, because angles in a triangle I just put equals 180 degrees. So I've got 38 and 38 so far. 38 plus 38, that's 76. So if I do 180 take away 76, I will get 104 degrees. So these two red ones here are 104 degrees because angles in a triangle add up to 180. So there's one thing left to do. Angles around the point equal 360. So I've got 104 and 104 at the moment which is 208. If I take it away from 360, so 360 take away 200 is 160, and then 160 take away 8, that's 152. So angle X must be 152 degrees.